God, you call us your friends. Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call? Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me? It's amazing. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call. Is it true that you are thinking of me? Oh, how you love me. Yes, you do. It's amazing. Yes, I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. God Almighty, God Almighty, King of glory, you, you have called me friend. Oh God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me friend. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, God, God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me friend. Oh, you are God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me Friend of God. We are called friends of God. In John 15, 15, it says, No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. Jesus here is calling us friends. Friendship is um, something special. I have checked the meaning of friendship, for example, in our dictionary, and it says this. 
Friendship is a two-way thing. Well, a friend is someone with whom one has a bond of mutual affection. Someone you love and loves you, someone you respect and respect you. What does it mean to be a friend of God? Well, first of all, God's door is always open to new friendship, to our friendship. But to become a friend, there's a process there. To become a friend with God, you need to know God. And to know Him, you need to spend time with Him, spend time in His Word. You can go to Him anytime, and this is what a friend is there for, anytime. To talk to Him about anything you have on your heart, in your mind, with your fears, your anxiety, even your unbelief. You can ask God any questions. And you know what? He will listen to your questions. He will answer your questions. And probably sometimes it will take time for that answer to come. But don't forget one thing when you speak to God in a friendship. It's like this as well. You cannot just talk, 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 but you need to listen sometimes. Jesus is not a friend that we see from time to time. He is a friend that is always available. God is calling us to be his friends. And this is a strong foundation because when God says it, he says it. God does not make mistakes. He means it. God wants a friendship with us. Well, Jesus changed the whole thing by uniting us with God. And now we have access to God's presence, to his friendship. In our imperfection, God calls us his friends. We can never be good enough, even if we try very hard to please him. We still fail from time to time. This friendship is made possible, not because we are good, but because of the sacrifice of Jesus at the cross. In Romans 5, 10, it says, And since we were his enemies, we were brought back to God by the death of his son. What blessing he must have for us now that we are his friends and he is living within us. Now we rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God, all because of of what our Lord Jesus Christ has done in dying for our sins, making us friends of God. We are friends of God. Lord, I thank you that we can really accept this and this new relationship with you through your sacrifice at the cross. And this is the relationship you want with us. We thank you for you are with us and you call us your friends. Amen.